A very good evening to you Seagulls player streaming live from Culver Road in Lansing tonight and it is the development squad game between Brighton and Hove Albion and Crystal Palace. Brighton of course in their blue and white stripes and the Palace side yellow shirts and black shorts. It's second against third in the League Two, the professional development league. Uh, the Albion at the moment sitting just behind Cardiff. They've got 18 points from their 10 games. Palace are in third place, 15 points from 11. But uh, just looking at the last six games, pretty good record for both sides. The Albion, five wins and then the defeat at Brentford last Monday. And uh, Palace have won four and drawn one of uh, their last games. They're all in the Professional Development League. Uh, the Albion includes two wins in the Sussex Senior Cup, including the one we brought you against Eastbourne Borough. Uh, the other week. Bob Booker is uh, with me. And it's Culver Road as uh, the Palace players just having a little warm up along the touchline, which is uh, something yeah. you don't often see, is it? Uh, you see a few teams do that. Sometimes they do it at the start of the second half. But as I say, uh, yeah, nice to be here again this evening, Tim, I have to say. Another good turnout. I mean, apparently there's over 300 people listening to us last week, so hopefully they've spread the word and we can keep them in touch with the up and coming talent of Brighton and Hove Albion Football Club. Really looking forward to it. Bit of a windy night, but uh, nice to see Craig McHale-Smith out there as well. I've got to say, one very experienced, talented player, isn't there? Because Craig McHale-Smith is wearing number nine and playing tonight. He featured against Brentford last week, just 24 minutes. I think that was planned. I think they've come up uh, with that figure to start him off. Yep. But uh, perhaps we'll see him on the pitch for longer uh, tonight, because I'm sure uh, the... Uh, the management at the Albion would uh, very much like to see him available for uh, first team selection again. Indeed, uh, Nathan Jones, I've seen here this evening already. Yeah, well, through my experience, I have, uh, I've been through the traumas of a, a cruciate ligament, and it, uh, in my day, it took me quite a long time. And as with Craig, I know exactly how he's feeling now. He's had that little time against Brentford, and he just want to get his confidence. We know he likes to play aggressively. We know he likes to shut people down. And he'd just think, be thinking about that first tackle, whether the joint opens up a little bit and he goes in nice and strong. Once he gets that out of the way, he'll be flying. OK, let's run through the teams. Um, starting with Crystal Palace, their goalkeeper is David Gregory. Then in numerical order, we'll work out their formation in a moment. Alistair Gordon, Luke Kroll, Haram Botang, Quaid Taylor, Michael Chambers, Gassimo Sal, Connor Diamond, Jake Gray, Suleiman Kakai, and Rhys Alassani are the starting lineup for Palace. Brighton have Christian Walton in goal, then Robin Dean and Robert Hunt, the two fullbacks. I think the uh, centre backs, Tom Dallison and Glenn Ray, who we saw against Borough. And then uh, no Courtney Richards tonight. Number four shirt won by, worn by Asmundson, who's going to play in that role just in front of the, the back four. What I'm going to call the, uh, the uh, Liam Brickcut Memorial role. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, then we've got uh, Jeffrey Monacana, he's going to be on the right, and the rest of the line. Charles Harris, Jess Stark in up front, it's going to be Brennan Dickinson and Craig McHale-Smith as we get underway. So for, from our point of view, Bob, uh, not too different the line-up that we saw against uh, Eastbourne Borough, and that, that 1-0 win a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and the pattern will be exactly the same. It's just nice that we can, we can get to know the players on our, on our visits over to here, and really looking forward to seeing the scene. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, but, there's uh, plenty of particularly young side tonight looks like they've got bags of energy amongst them already chasing the ball down yeah so that's uh, turned back and as uh, we often see and we said before uh, the development squad trying to play as, as close to the way that the first team squad play as well this is Brennan Dickinson who's got him well he really had to make up pace there and puts that one into the side netting Alistair Gordon the player who was chasing him 
but when that ball first went towards Dickinson, you didn't think you got, had a chance, did you? Well, it was that diagonal ball again, wasn't it, from Ray, and uh, it picked up a bit, a bit of pace with the breeze tonight, and Dickinson got onto it. Would have liked him really to cut that across the across the six yard box, but a uh, good break from the Albion. Well, we've got uh, David Gregory then to get play back underway with the goal kick. Plenty of height on it. I think it did get caught in the wind in the end as it came down by the um, halfway line. This is Monacana or the Alvin. Well, we saw him last week, didn't we, Monacana? He, he sort of played a little bit more inside, but it looks like he's predominantly going to start on the right-hand side tonight. He's in the middle at the moment, so perhaps he's going to switch it about. Cut in, and uh, here's Dickinson again. He's got the overlap, not going for it, though. That's a good cross into the middle. And uh, Palace getting that away at the second phase. Just the Alvin perhaps needed one more person on the edge of the area. Uh, to get in there but as the ball is played forward there's not many Palace players up and we've got the two centre halves we've got uh, Dallison and Ray together who I must say is certainly playing at, at this level anyway look mm. very very composed at the back Asmussen in quickly plays the ball forward but the referee so, yeah, Tim, uh, as, as our commentary position here was quite really close to the uh, to the side of the pitch and the two centre halves do look particularly good size and good athletes especially Dallison there he's a left footer uh, looks a nice shape about him, looks nice and confident on the ball with what we've seen him from last week and he'll probably continue that tonight so when they come over this side you, you really can get an idea of the physique of some of these young lads Yeah, um, and indeed from the Palace point of view as we'll see if the ball's going forward again and Chambers is back pedalling there, he's just huge, he's incredibly tall, really good size as Albion on the attack again and they've got numbers forward once again Starkey. play that out towards Dickinson, will he be able to control that? He can Great take. Cuts inside this time and plays the ball along the ground into the area. And it's just nicked back to the goalkeeper, Gregory. Puts it forward again, Asmussen going in for the challenge. Moves out, but the Albion have got numbers, and that's a nice little touch as well. Mm. So Asmussen can put this wide to uh, Robin Dean, the right back, who, as with uh, Hunt on the other side, does like to get forward. Allison immediately picking out Robert Hunt good first touch from him yeah that's Starkey getting involved there oh, Palace do get this one clear this time and with that uh, Alassani turning the ball back in Starkey involved in the challenge referee says that's fine and play on so plenty of options Hunt Dickinson just in front of him and now just heading down the line Starkey and Hunt there look like they're gonna link up well tonight two left footers Playing with Dixon, that's a nice little yeah, ball. Yeah, it is a nice ball. Now well, a chance to well, not get the crossing over. Just looking to see where Craig Mikhail Smith putting himself. He was just on the far post, wasn't he? For seems strange well, not not recognising him with him. Uh, no, he's had a haircut, which is did. very unfair on commentators because it was always a way to make sure that you recognised who it was immediately. Yeah, he's had a bit of a trim, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Starkey just closing down as Palace trying to get the ball away. They have now. Kyle Smith was chasing that. Asmundsen seeing an awful lot of the ball at the moment. He was a scorer, by the way, when these two sides met earlier in the season. That was a two-all draw uh, and a game that was actually played at Selhurst Park. As Hunt plays that along for Starkey to chase. A shove on the back of Craig Mikhail Smith. He looked quite sharp there, Tim, I have to say, when he went for that ball. Yeah, certainly got plenty of pace. Well, this is an opportunity now for Alassani. He's not got an awful lot of support at the moment. As the challenge goes in, it's a Palace throw. Ref just wants to have a word with yeah, him. Yeah, with the, the number seven. Sal has been called over immediately. I haven't seen anything going on there, but... A bit of verbal, Tim, I think. Yeah. Oh, with the linesman or directed at the referee so he's just calming it down sorting it out nice and early put his mark on the game the ref yeah Gordon's going to take the throw plenty of players making options along the line well that's a good crossover and it was uh, the fullback Dean Dean who got involved there and got that clear because uh, that was looking pretty dangerous Jake Gray was in the middle and Gray in fact is down at the moment in the area got to his feet think he's going to be all right referee just going over for a chat but uh, that was a great run that was uh, Kakai who made that run along the byline he done well Edmondson sort of just held him up a little bit there and he'd just get touched tight like he did just then rather than uh, 
dive in a little bit, which he's done then, um, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Palace have chance. got numbers forward. This is a good opportunity. And it's the opening goal as well as Walton came out yeah. of his area. Well, Palisani was just able to nip the ball underneath him as he came out. And that was the first time Palace have had numbers forward and they got the lead. They did. It was just just the, uh, the, the bright midfield there, as I say. We started with uh, Edmondson and I think it was Harris. They just got a little bit too tight and all of a sudden it opened up for Palace nicely. Got the young lad in. It was a particularly good finish. The goalkeeper come out. He did have his shirt pulled, I think, the way it looked from here. But he tucked it away nicely with his left foot. One down. Well, it's too early to talk about against the run of play. But certainly have been the Albion who have been doing most of the attacking at that point. But when Palace came forward in numbers, they really, really, well, didn't, didn't hang about, did they? And that was a, a great effort underneath Walton as he rushed out of his goal. So the Albion development squad now. Going to get themselves back on terms, and I want to do it quite quickly. As Harris trying to get Monacana going wide on the right, he's not to touch it, really, is he? Need to get the ball to someone like that. He's quick, he's pacey. We saw him last week. There's Need Mikhail to give him the Smith. ball. He's got it now. He's found him. Kyle Smith going to have to get forward quickly now. See what the options are. That's going to be a Brighton throw. Came off the Palace player last. Tell you what, the ground staff have done a good job, Tim, because it. I mean, Friday, on it. I went to pick someone up at Gatwick and it was the worst night I could have driven in and Saturday wasn't much better, but the pitch is dried out here, so the ground staff's done a great job to get this game on. Well, there's no muddy patches really, are there? There's no. just one in that goal mouth, but uh, compared to grounds that we saw, well, certainly 20 years ago or more, you wouldn't have seen a blade of grass on it, would you, with the, the weather we've had? What, you mean the ones I used to plan? I do, and the ones I, I watched. <laughs> Yeah, but at least when you played, you had leather studs. <laughs> Did you play football? Not to any standard <laughs> at all. Not to any standard, no. Balanson. Near the Palace uh, coaching staff really pushing their, their team on to shut the ball down. Dickinson. Got a lo lot of options on, and unfortunately just trips a little bit, stumbles and runs the ball out of play. Good talking from centre half there, Dallison yeah. to the left back. Yeah, and uh, we saw Alessani. Uh, he went down, but the referee was having none of that. But now he's got up. He's just hobbling a little bit. It'll be all right. They'll run that off. And that was an attempt to try and get the ball forward up the right wing for the album. I think it's going to be in the end. Yes, it was uh, shattered out of play, and it is going to be a goal kick. Good gathering of people down on our left hand side, isn't it? Nice little turnout. Lots of people watching the uh, the next generation of stars, yeah. hopefully. Well, I should imagine there's a few parents down there as well, following the movements of their, of their son into this uh, this level of football. So, good luck to them. It's a long journey. If you do it right, the rewards are great, as we well know. That was, uh, again, seeing Dean trying to just play the ball up the line and get things moving on that right wing. It looks as though they, they are trying to get the ball to Monacana as much as they can, but yeah. so far Palace have pretty much identified him, haven't they, as uh, the, the player to watch. Good scramble, and the Palace again now, look, they've got numbers forward again. Another opportunity into the area. Well, the referee has given it. Oh, he has, well, hasn't he? Unfortunately, Tim, it was paced with pace. With pace. It was pace with pace. Dallinson was coming out quick. I'm not sure who the player was that picked the pace up for, for Palace, but he just touched it, and he was a flying machine. And there was only a slight little touch, but it was enough to put him off balance. And Well, it's, it's, it's two attacks from virtually the same area. Uh, one's led yep. to a goal. And Alisani uh, fancies it. He's yeah. taken up. He scored the first with his left. Yeah. Looks like he's going to take this one with his right. So, uh, yeah. Walton trying to make himself as big as he can. And he's big. The referee is just delaying things. He's having a word with uh, Connor Diamond. Not really doing his uh, play Alisson any favours. Here he goes. Oh, well done. Save from Walton. That's really got the crowd going. Yeah. And that was pretty crucial because 2-0 down at this stage, that would have been difficult. And he's a big lad, isn't he? The goalkeeper was a big lad, is Walton, but he got down really quick there because it was a nice play. His penalty, I have to say, it was right in the corner. It sort of spewed under his right arm a little bit. He managed to gather himself and scrape his 
scrape it into his midriff and uh, it would have been players, a bit yeah. unfair after that if the ball had just sort of squirted over the line him and gone in wouldn't absolutely it? yeah oh, that's a nice run from Dickinson now is that going to lift the rest of the side it looks like it is you know Dickinson didn't have the power behind that shot that he wanted but it was a great run to get forward and that was nicely done as well by Dean the full back now he's found Monacana give a chance to stretch his legs and well, the balls run nicely Harris I think he was trying to tee up a shot oh, I think Mikhail Smith was there on the edge of the area oh, it was just Dick a bit far yeah. in front of him Dickinson and the fullback here in, in Hunt was screaming at, uh, at Harris there just to just keep the thing going on the left hand side but he decided to turn in and, and try a little floated ball in and try and find the CMS but to no avail but just keep the thing going there you're going a nice way the ball's just bobbing along nicely give it to the winger let him get on with it let him do what he's good at Oh, Palace invariably uh, going for the the long goal kicks. They're not passing the ball out of their area, as uh, we saw. Well, see the Albion Orton do virtually every time, and uh, indeed we saw Eastbourne Borough do a couple of weeks ago as well. And that kick was wasted because it just floated straight out of play. And that's a chance for the Albion to take possession. Let's turn back to Dallinson. Raise alongside him. There he is. And then to Dean, the right fullback, over the halfway line. Oh, he was looking for a one-two, but he didn't find his partner. And here come Palace, and this is when they are dangerous, when they stream forward. This is Boateng on the ball at the moment. Going to have to track back, though. Got plenty of support. Diamond, chip it up. Well, oh, it's allowed to bounce. I think that's going to be safe. And Hunt turning it back to Walton. Good kick. Good one. Kicks out of the air. Craig McHale Smith underneath it. He's looking for the flick on, but Monacana hadn't quite caught up with him. Hale Smith just chasing down the goalkeeper, as we've seen so often. This is Starkey on the ball now. Oh, still fighting. Referee says play on. Asmussen does get a foot in. Very good, that, surely. We saw Hunt go over the leg of Alisani, but the referee is happy that that wasn't a foul. Chambers, so, yeah, quite a size. Saw him uh, warming up. Mm. Came out on his own actually just before the yeah, kickoff. Yeah, did. I just don't know, a, yeah, just I don't know what that was about. It was a strange one. That uh, didn't come out with the rest of the team. Perhaps he's just coming back for an injury. Anyone needed a little bit extra? I don't know. But uh, not seen that one before. He came out with one of the coaches and was doing a little bit of quick feet work and getting himself going. So might just be coming back for a bit of an injury or something. I don't think we saw. Um, Oh, as That's Palace nice. uh, get forward again, setting it up. It was always just a little bit too far in front. Well, that's over into the shrubbery uh, <laughs> behind the goal. Well, he done everything right, didn't he? Yeah. I think I've called our goalkeeper Mark Walton a couple of times. That's uh, that's a bit historic. It is Christian. Yeah, Walton, we did have a Mark Walton. You're right. Played his part in Brighton's history. Yep. Yeah, back at the well, I suppose quite literally the turn of the century, wasn't it? But uh, it's Christian Walton in the Alvin goal. Takes that one quickly. Palace again, winning possession, coming forward. Trying to tee up the shot. Nice play, Asmus uh, gets his foot in and uh, takes the ball off Kakai. Monacana, Asmussen again. This is quite promising. Kyle Smith turns nicely. And lays the ball out to the right. Oh, he's looking to run onto that, but the Palace defender just got his foot in. It is a throw to Brighton, though. That's all they want to do tonight, Craig. Is just you know, if he's coming short, get hold of the thing, make sure it sticks, lay it off, bring it, bring someone else into play, and that gradually build his confidence. You know, if I was him, I'd play two or three touch all night, really. I and mean, then sometimes you want to lay it off one touch, but needs to get himself into the game and get his get his touch working again because it's a long time out. Well, it's yeah. been nearly 11 months. Yep. It, you know. It must just be awful when you, you can't do the thing you, you love doing so much. Well, this is a good run. No one in the middle, though. Just needed a forward in the middle. Because they got there as quickly as he can. And then Palace make a bit of a mess of the clearance. But they're safe, I think. They got it away. Alisani. That's the foul. So we look at the back. Yeah, and uh, Dallison's going forward. Going to be Asmussen and Dean who stay back. Other than that, the big fellas are forward. Dickinson to take. 
that Craig McHale Smith just on the 18 yard line and it Five. goes arrowed in but the defenders get it clear didn't beat that first line of defense but they haven't get possession back Dickinson again McHale Smith goes to the far post headed clear Asmussen immediately involved it's a bit oh, sloppy that was, one. wasn't it put himself under pressure trying to keep possession by turning the ball back to the defense but it wasn't really aimed towards anyone but Brighton have done all right and they've kept possession although that kick from Walton in is out of play that is the most congested dugout I've ever seen that we could have taken that throw in front of <laughs> look how many people there are over there more or less another team over there mm -hmm. Uh, it was uh, uh, with Dean when the, the extra subs were given there to sort of build a second yeah. dugout, which did look rather like a bus shelter, I always remember. Caught a little bit late, but no worries there. It was Diamond who had the challenge. You just see that throw in there, Tim, the way he's throwing it, he's bounced at him. Really, you know, just slow it down a little bit. Get it to him on the fall, we can play it straight back. Because it's bounced, he's caused himself a problem. Well, with bounce, you almost have to take a step back. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Or a first touch to get it down where if he throws it to him on the volley, he can go straight back to the thrower. Just a little Dickinson. little pet hate there that could sort themselves out. Ball's gone out. Yeah. Bit of frustration there, kicked it against the Hordings. Yeah, unfortunately Dickinson a couple of times on, on that side has been trying to trick his way around. The ball has just run out of play for him. Goes for the diagonal ball. And Jake Gray is underneath it, but Monacana running back. Finds oh, Raul. Ray's giving it away now to Jake Gray. He covered well, though. He did. He realised, well, realised what he'd done and got straight in to put it right. Going to be a corner, I think, but he did get in there. It's always a danger when you, know, you want to become a, a ball-playing centre-half. Yeah, we want to play football. Sometimes it's all about making the right decisions. And sometimes there, you might just want to put his foot through it and put it down to the channel. Especially when things are tight there, rather than just sort of do a sloppy one and get caught in possession. And now there's a corner against us. And Gray is standing right in front of Walton. Oh, clears everyone, but it, it was been two down creeping that, in, wasn't you know? it? Yep. Yeah. Walton just having a word with the centre half there, just saying, listen, be sure if you're going to play square, make sure it gets there. And we have seen a couple of back passes <laughs> caused a problem. But put uh, I've been under pressure, but as, as you've, you've said before, I mean, the coaches will be noting this. It'll all be going in the little books, won't it? Absolutely, yep. Yeah. Every little stat. We've got the stat man down in front of us. I'm sure he's uh, it's there, and the coach can dissect that afterwards. He can watch it with his team, perhaps tomorrow in a, in a conference room or something, or later on in the week, and he can show the centre half, listen, this is what you did, and it's there in proof of the pudding. So, oh, oh dear, that was left a little bit late, wasn't it? And the referees let a lot of things go. And that's not the first time, actually, that Connor Diamond's been involved. But the referee is going to have a word with him. Do that while we're waiting for that. I gather we've made our debut on Twitter. Oh, we've broken our record. 482 watching, Bob. Really? Absolutely. That's that's a 50% increase already. We'll be catching up with Ant and Dex soon. Yeah. I hope it's reflected in the fee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had my chips. I think that's all I'm getting tonight. Uh, the referee has had his chat to uh, Connor Diamond. See, then one's there. That as he's, as he's, he's lunging into the tackle, the Brighton player, I forget who it was, it might have been, might have been uh, Davis, I think. He's got straight up, so the referee should recognise that. And quick word, but get the thing going a little bit quicker. You know, he's dragged it out a little bit there. Free kick to the Elbin. Yeah. Oh, that's nicely done. Right on the penalty spot. And it was a defender who got uh, to it. it that's was, a good ball. Oh, turned in again. Well, it's not free yet. And Ray is hovering on the edge of the area. It was Quade Taylor who got the first one away when it was arrowing to the penalty spot. And now the Alvin have kept possession. Monacana trying the step overs. It's back to Asmussen. See, the left back here, they should be screaming for it there. Screaming, Hunt there. Yeah. For Asmussen to, to bring it out, yeah. But it's uh, possession lost again. You could almost you can almost the affect the game there by your by your tone of your voice and screaming out for it, you know. He had his arms out, but I couldn't really hear him from here, so I doubt if the player could hear him. 
Uh, it's noticeable, isn't it, with the slightly smaller crowd and being close to the pitch. Yeah. I pick up anyway, I mean, obviously you play, but I pick up just how much the players are talking to each other. Although I have to say, uh, less so than a county league game I watched in the weekend, where I don't think it would be difficult to follow any instructions, but they were certainly chatting away to each other. But it's uh, it's it's Ray and Dallison really calling the tune, isn't it? The two centre backs. Yeah. Well cut out. Dean, the full back. Asmussen. Seeing a lot of the ball. Dickinson always oh, too far in front of him, but it was the right idea. So I think now, as Asmussen's got the ball there, Dickinson was more or less level, level with us, wasn't he? He should have been screaming and getting on his bike making him aware that he was on his way and he might have had a chance of getting that ball that went out the play then but still you know, just that little bit of that little bit of uh, contact with your voice can make all the difference that's for Ray Ooh, Palace on him quickly and he was pulled as was and has to go in for the challenge Ray gets in there again but he was certainly tucked back wasn't he there's a few tugs there oh good job he blocked that out yeah, he did yeah he's a couple a of messy. times we've seen that. Yeah, it has, actually, hasn't it? Just a little bit slop in the middle, but Ray has certainly thrown himself in front of the ball when need be. And now they've got work to do. The Palace come forward. Always, whenever the ball's going forward, there's always three chasing it. That seems to give those two centre-backs... Well, they've just got to make decisions, haven't they, when they've got three running at them. Quite often, the two full-backs are a little bit further forward. Yeah. So just got to make sure they do it there. together. Oh, that's... Uh, Possession lost again. Jake Ray. Referee has given that to Palace. See, sometimes as well, Tim, when uh, the, the, the back four players there, the two centre halves, have got themselves in a bit of a muddle, sometimes it can be the midfield players coming back. They can help them with their verbal instructions. You know, is there a man on? You know, clear it long first rather than just let them get on with it on their own. Just a little bit of an instruction. But we used to call it ball and a message. OK? Ball and a message. Alessani. No, it's not actually. Alessani's on the edge of the area. Let's see this go into the middle. Chambers is up there. Tallest player on the pitch, but he can't get the direction behind it that he needed. Quickly, as always, the full-backs moving up towards the halfway line. Allison just jogging forward. Alessani stayed forward just to try and prevent the passing along the 18-yard line. And Walton has to go long this time. It's headed on. Craig McHale Smith. That's a lovely little flick. Didn't in the end find yeah. Monacana, but it was a great flick and quick thinking. Monacana chasing down the centre half, spoiling his clearance. Handball. Linesman saw that, and then Alessani gets a kick for his troubles. But just caught him on the left arm as the ball bounced up alongside him. Linesman gave it straight away. Hunt to take, Starkey. Dickinson hugging the line. That's another good challenge by Gordon. Good tackle, yep. Yeah. Nicely timed. If you're going to go to the ground, they need to be taking the ball, which he done. So the throw going to be taken by Hunt. He's moved forward. Gets it back straight away. Some nice control there. There's Dickinson first time across the edge of the area. Not clear. Asmussen goes in for the header on the line. And that was nicely done by Gray. Good chance. Oh, Ooh. Ray. And then the shot from Asmussen. Just hitting, I think, the roof of the net. Yep. But that really was set up by Ray, who the, the centre half had just charged forward to get charged his head forward, on that. It, punched it into Asmussen. And the way that he controlled it in one movement, it turned. It just sat up nicely for him, didn't it? It sat up nicely and he caught it particularly well. Nice and sweet on the volley. And with that little bit of wind behind it, it's always going to dip really early, which it did. Just uh, just catching the top of the net. Just one of those ones where you see Asman throw his hands up in the air, just with uh, frustration from that. It was very, very close. Like right, you say, interesting tactic from Palace. Minutes. Getting, all the, getting everybody over there for that goalkeeper's kick. No short ones at all. No, no it, it's almost old-fashioned, isn't it? Yep. You know, it's probably unfair to say, but it's, it's certainly... Uh, the way that the football was you know, we're seeing a lot of teams now anyway playing um, what I call the Brighton way plenty of other clubs do mm. it where you decide well we're going to keep that possession and build from the back it's 
waiting for the restart. Here it comes. Ball up the line. Did that goes straight out of play. No, I think it's it came in and went out again. Yeah. Right and throw. Yeah. The wind probably caught that, to be honest. Allison. And here's Hunt. Left back. And Dick is a touch in the line. That's nicely turned in. Starkey. Then Hunt again. Ah, that was along the line, hoping to pick out a run from Dickerson again. Asmundson just fluffs that, and that's an opportunity now for Kakai to move forward. One and it's an opportunity one. for Jay Gray. Wharton goes down. Oh. I think Wharton just did enough to put him off, you know. I think he got a touch. I think he got a touch. He did, yeah, it's a corner. Oh, well done. That's a penalty save, and then that, because that looked odds on for 2 0. That was nice. He's one on one with a goalkeeper. It's all about decisions then. I think he, he made the right one. He went for the little dink, slotted it past Walton. But he got he got a left hand to it and forced a corner. Good work from the goalkeeper. He's been quite bright tonight. It's because he's had long periods of inactivity. That's it. That's what you want. That shows that he's concentrating. He's walking the game. He's talking the game. Takai with the corner. Oh, as the head goes in. Not off the line, but off the six-yard line anyway. Not clear by Hunt. Oh, Craig McHale Smith chasing stumbles. Can't get to his feet quick enough. Dickinson's moved over to that side just for the moment. As Palace again get the ball up the line. That should be safe though. Turn back to Walton. Oh, I say it should be safe. Actually, Alassani was zooming well, in on the he? goalkeeper Read it well. again. Yeah, he did. Knew exactly what was going to happen. Wait for the throw, Gray, straight back to the throw. This is Gray again. And now the cross comes in, it's blocked. Now we should be able to clear, but no, they're quicker again. And Palace in that 18-yard box on the edge of the That's area sharp. are sharp. lightning quick, yeah. aren't they? They don't allow anybody to dwell on the ball. While you're making a decision what you're going to do, there's a Palace player. Yeah, no, they really have hunted well for the ball tonight. Mind you, if I was out, I think I'd be running around because it is getting a bit nippy up here. So Walton is opting to go long this time. Everybody's realised it. That's chested on by Mikhail Smith. Harris in there, ch challenging away. Harris now tracking back. Uh, Palace have oh, got the ball nicely, got the overlapping fullback. This is Gordon. Haven't really seen him forward that much so far. Alassani again. And then back to Gordon. First time. That was a strong, strong defensive header. I think the ball had gone out of play. That was Hunt, I think, who got the, defend the head on the edge of the six yard box. So it's actually a corner. They've put in some good corners already. I mean, it's been they've got bodies up there. It's got some big lads. There he's and again. He goes Chambers again. gets oh, that touch. Oh yes, he's always the target, isn't he? Now look, just hopping around <laughs> exquisitely because it wasn't far away. Oh, he's a good size, isn't he? Out of play, he's, he's had a couple now, both gone wide of that uh, right-hand post to Christian Waltons. Just looking back to the, the game on the, the 7th of October between these two, the, the Albion lineup include Adam Alab, Adam Chickson and Rowan Ince were all playing Wow! at uh, that time. Rowan Ince now pretty much a regular first-teamer, injured at the moment though. Well, that's going to be a real chase if Alessandro is going to get there, but I think he's caused enough troubles for Hunt, but Hunt gets it back to Walton. And then Dallison turns it to Asmussen. Fooled me then, it's a well disguised pass, wasn't it? <laughs> Around the corner. That's oh, that's turn. nicely turned. Dickinson's free on a can see him around this way. Yeah, he's found. Yeah, he's in. Found the players he needs. That's oh. too far ahead of Dickinson, unfortunately. Unlucky. But it was a nice turn in the yep. centre of the pitch, wasn't it, by Monacana? Yep, right, I do. Ball just seems to be running away with the wind up this up the slope a little bit. I mean, I don't yeah. know what's going to happen in the second half. It'll hold up a little bit. Yes, yeah, certainly the wind is blowing that way because the, the clearances from uh, the Palace goalkeeper, Gregory, they look to have plenty of uh, 
length on them, but they just at the halfway line, they tend to get ballooned up in the air and drop down. He's not really getting the ball over the halfway line, but he's making it difficult for the longer balls forward from the Albion players. Hunt, who's available, he says. Well, Mikhail Smith was trying to make himself available. Corner. And the Albion get the corner, probably, I have to say, from the Palace point of view, they look at that as an unnecessary corner, won't they, when it goes out from that far away. So Craig Mikhail Smith heading towards the edge. Look how many Palace have got back. Just everyone. Left no one forward at all. Might as well shove, shove another one in there. I think it's Davis in front of the back too. He might as well get in there as well if they've got more back. Still got two at the back. They've got no one up front. Over it goes. He was heading towards Monacana, but defender got the flick in. Oh, now Palace have a chance to come away, but the Albion have got players back. Oh, that is a lovely ball to Jake Gray. He's onside, just can't control it. A few rumbles from the crowd there, but they thought that Alexander Alizani was offside, which he was, but the ball didn't go that way. So I think the referee done well there, Lions, when he played on. He wasn't in the film with play. And then he went into that, what we call the second phase. Is it the second phase? I believe it is, yeah. <laughs> Understands it, but there's no doubt, quite obviously, Alessani was not, uh, and, you know, couldn't um, be considered to be interfering with play in any way, could he, there? And Gray had stayed on side. I do like the way Palace just break at that speed en masse. Nice one just getting a bit of a stick from one of the punters. Yeah. <laughs> this is a junior game. Back to Walton. Left-footed. In the end, as the ball's brought down, it's Brian kick possession. Oh, Alessani goes in. He had to jump that tackle. It was a tough tackle going in from Hunt. Here's Dickinson. Down the left wing he goes. Gordon, again, has really marshalled him well, I think, during yes, this game. Yeah. But, and we see that Gordon clearly is a player who likes to go forward, but Dickinson hasn't really allowed him to because he's always got to be worrying about that. But here's another opportunity with space. But Monacana's done well there. They trapped Caught out, up. Yep. And uh, they've just gone in the way. They tracked it. So, Sal, who was trying to turn in the centre of the pitch. Luke Kroll to take the throw. Now Hiram Boateng. Oops. Just a stumble. No, it was a free kick on Kai I thought it was a bit of a slip, to be fair. Yeah, but... it looked at first, didn't yeah. it? And then the referee flew just a few seconds later. I suppose he was just waiting to see if there was any advantage yeah. before he blowing the whistle. So it was Asmus and the foul was given against. And they have been putting everybody bar Craig Mikhail Smith behind the ball. As, uh, Boateng shapes to take it uh, towards the big defenders again. But Dickinson gets his head and then manages to take it away. Oh, he's just looking to set up Starkey in the centre circle. If he had, he had Craig Mikhail Smith alongside well, him. That would have been a terrific opportunity. At. Craig had really pulled off the shoulder there, and I think he was looking for the long diagonal from Dickinson, but it didn't come. It got cut out a bit short. He's on the ball again. Yep. Now, can he keep it in? Oh, it's unlucky. I just could see as he went for that the first time. I think he's, his foot just rumbled over the top of the ball and wasn't really able to slow it down. Gordon. Quade Taylor now. Long, long way forward. Boateng there in the, the centre circle. Just seeing a bit more of the ball at the moment. Gordon. There is Boateng. That should be easily cut out by Hunt. Turned into the middle. Harris. Is it back to Dallinson and Ray? Harris just staying back at the moment, allowing Asmussen to go forward. That was nicely done. On the full back. Oh, that's trying to get Craig Mikhail Smith on the run and in on goal. Well, that's where he wants it, didn't he? Down the side of yeah, people. That's, that's what he likes. And he's just they cut out by Chambers. Chambers again. 
He's looking for the run, Alessani there. Out comes Wharton. Oh, he's got to try pedal back now. Don't think it's accurate. No, was actually not too far away. Good vision from Boateng. No, at least he recognised it. Yeah. Good read of the game though from Wharton. Like we spoke earlier, he's walked the game well there. You know, he was the well, last were happy. Man. He was he was brave. He made his mind up. He didn't get caught in between and caused himself and him in the centre half a problem. He made his decision. He stuck by, and it was the right one. That's that's the important thing that you mentioned about sticking to the decision, isn't it? You don't want to see him come out, no, stop, get, yeah, think, get caught think twice, and then you've got problems. But no, he did all right and got the ball well clear there. Gordon then for Palace. Back to Boateng. He's just beginning to control it. A bit more now. Chambers. Now to find his fullback, Luke Kroll. Up the line. Up. And the Albion win the free kick. Taken quickly. And on the ground. Shove on the back. And it's another free kick. Feels like old times for Craig McHale Smith yeah. after we've seen that. Turn, shove, down he goes. Wow. With an incredible number of free kicks. It must just be, it must be uh, just a nice feeling for him to get out onto a football pitch in a competitive game. You know, he's probably done so much training, probably a few small sided games, not too much contact to start with, then progress from there up to what he's doing now. So, in it goes, far post, but it's beyond everyone. Well, I have to say that. Uh, Obviously, we've been watching and, and reading about Craig McHale Smith recover, uh, Craig McHale Smith's recovery after the, the last game at the Amex for one awful moment. I thought I'd put a stop to that as I reversed my car out the car park along the side of a van and then had to <laughs> stick the brakes on as somebody was walking past. Nice smile. I thought, oh, no, it was Craig McHale. Was it? So I thought, yeah, I would not have been popular. I wonder how, these, how these shorts would have stood up to that one. <laughs> yeah, I would not have been popular, would I? All that work he'd done to recover him back if I'd then run him over in the car park. You see the headlines now. Commentator injures striker in car park. <laughs> I think they should have a golf buggy for taking players that valuable around him. Right, is Alessani again? He's quick this Chasing, season, he's quick. Is, yeah, and and not only quick, but there's there seems to be an end result most times, doesn't there? Yeah, he's a little he's bag of tricks, isn't he? Little step very, over. very confident. Is that out, play? There is Boateng. I thought for a moment he was lining up a shot there. Oh, he's done well. Ball caught underneath, but then... And just to win possession back, and Boateng again. Going to have a look round. Gordon is here. Chambers, though, is the halfway line, is the choice. He goes for the long ball forward. Craig Mikhail Smith gets in, finds the midfield player, Harris. And then out to Dickinson. Asmussen's forward. Dickinson's got quite a few options now. He's going to try going to the byline. That's OK. Don't mind yeah, that. That's the corner. Yeah. Nice and positive. Got us up the pitch. Got a corner. That's all you can expect from that position. And Ray and Allison both push forward immediately. Asmussen there, the two full-backs take their place on the edge of the centre circle. With Palace going back like we spoke about, I think we can afford to get another one in there. Well, uh, yeah, you said before, because we've got, there's four players outside the area yeah. for Brighton, and it goes across the area. And it comes out now, we've still got two back there. We've picked it up. Well, at least kept possession with Hunt. And then Dean. Just chips it forward, edge of the area, chance for Starkey, perhaps to tee up a shot. He certainly made a chance to set it up. And the ball just won't fall for one of the Albion attackers. And here's Alassani to get on the run again. Ray's with him. Ray, a bit of a stumble. And in the end, the free kick given as Ray was recovering. He wow. certainly put an arm across him. Whether that Plus was it, enough. I mean, it looked worse and it looked large, wasn't it? The size of Ray and the size of Alassani. You know, it's... Uh... His, shirt, his shirt nearly comes down to his knees. It is, really. Well, that's chipped forward. Again, Albin heads have to be strong. Just trying to play it forward from uh, Sal, but having defence get it clear. But Palace have got possession again. This is Jake Ray trying to turn on the edge of the area. In goes Ray, and a second time on Diamond this Good time. Tackle. To make two challenges there yeah. to get that free. 
Nice and strong, though, wasn't he? Nice and low. Committed to taking the ball out. It's going to be another throw to Palace. How many people watching? 854. And they're watching Palace again on the attack, and they're going to win another corner. It's going to be Kai Kai who's moved across to take it, the number 10. I think he's taken all the set pieces apart from the penalty. Yeah. <laughs> and he might wish he had taken the penalty. Bearing in mind, uh, Walton made the save. You have just joined us. 1 0 to Palace. Oh, that's a good punch. And again, you made the decision and yep. stuck to it. Not always a bad punch. Yeah, yeah, but he but at least he got yeah. out of the area. Yeah. No problem. There's Craig McHale Smith down by the touchline. Holding possession. Oh, the crowd are enjoying that. Really enjoying that. There's the round of applause for Craig McHale Smith. His most telling contribution so yeah, far. Monacana on the right. And Craig McHale Smith is into the area. Across he comes. Got well, it would have been beneath. perfect, wouldn't it, yeah. if they got on the end of that. But Chambers got his left foot behind it and got it clear. But he started the move off just by dropping back. Real good centre forward play, wasn't it? Yeah. Got yeah. hold of it, played it simple once he finally got his head up. Oh, got himself out of trouble. Oh, just uh, Dean got to get it pulled out from under his feet. Over it goes. Not really into the danger area. Asmussen from distance. Block, though. And then the shot! Oh! What a strike! Oh, now in the back on terms, and it's Dickinson. Wow! From the edge of the area, just waiting in the right place, and what a terrific shot! Sometimes you just put your foot through it, don't you? There's a couple of times where it's come out on the left-hand side to him, and it's rolled over his foot, and it's gone out of play, and the crowd had a bit of mumble. But when this one dropped to him, he knew exactly what he was going to do, and it just fell really, really quick. There comes the ball in from Dean. It gets cut down. Asmussen's has a shot, they just fall straight away on the half volley, bang! Get in. Yeah, lovely. Great strike. And sometimes they were just instinctive, they just happen, didn't they? You can't really plan that, it just comes to you. You haven't got time to react, all you've got time is to keep your eye on the ball. He'd done exactly that, got his foot behind it, got his head over the ball. Great technique from Dickinson, great technique. Well, one all as we approach half time, minute or so to go. I tell you what, Dickinson had not had the easiest of hearts, well, a couple of times we'd seen the ball yeah. knocked out of play and perhaps a little bit of frustration but then bang you do that and but this is it terrific that's how it happens for you sometimes oh. well it didn't start directly from that run by Craig McHale Smith but I tell you what that run just seemed to energize the side a little yeah. bit and he's done the same again he's done it again here's Dickinson again Craig McHale Smith over goes the cross. Great ball. Dangerous too. Right across the goal line. And in the space of a minute, it's a whole new game, isn't it? Well, that's what a goal does for you. It gives you a bit of a lift, doesn't it? You know, a few hundred strong here that's watching the game. It's just lifted them. The players hear that. They react a little oh. bit. Oh, we wait for the corner. Still the Albion with four outside the area. Over it goes. Doesn't get past the first man, but gets it back. That's a late challenge. Well, I think the referee might even be going. Well, no, he isn't going for the ball. Can I have a word? In situations like that, I'm not sure what else they could have done. That was two players going honestly for a 50 50 ball, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, one just got there right at the last minute and just nicked it away. And of course, the, your body movement, you're going to collide. You know, it's, that thing happens, but. Well, we're into the last minute. One all now, Alisani, Dickinson, who's on the ball now. A nice time to turn it round and go in half time in the lead, wouldn't it? Certainly would. Is that that's Craig McHale Smith right on the end of that, isn't there? He's right on the far post. Over it goes. So what a Palace have got height, haven't they? Chambers in particular. And Quade Taylor as well. They're gonna win most of those. Deep again, that's not that one and out! Oh, that's Starting. Starting. Harris. It's Harris, the number eight. Yeah. He scored. And what a change around in the last three or four minutes. The Army have stepped up a gear. Dickinson. And after I'd said that the Palace were going to win every header, mm. well, Harris got in with that one. Good ball in for Dean, wasn't it? And he'd done exactly what you'd want to do with a header. Comes back there. 
He makes good decision, Dean. Now gets out of his feet, clips it in. And there's Harris, keeps his head on it, puts it back where it come from. Textbook, textbook header. Yeah. Looked particularly pleased himself. Yep. Nice to see all the young lads enjoying the goal. That's what it's all about. Bit of camaraderie. Well, we like right, to see right that. the side netting was perfectly placed, wasn't it? Yep. And like you said, what a great time to score. Should go in 2 1 up now. Yeah. Now, Palace have been in charge for most of this half, but then they are really going to go in in the lead. Well, they've pressed the game, haven't they, really, Palace, for me? I mean, if we go, if it was. Well, giving that to Glenn Ray, I think. In fact, we thought it was Harris, but it was Glenn Ray apparently got his head in there, so apologies for that. Still a great header, whatever it was. Yeah. Centre. Centre half's header. Typical centre half header, yeah. yeah. That's where it come from. And if. Uh, well, I apologise if Harris is, you know, mum and dad are watching, it wasn't his <laughs> son. <laughs> it was Glenn Ray who got in there. So uh, two one certainly changed things around. Not finished yet by the looks of things. Look at Monacana go. Got He's got a lot of space. Mikhail Smith is forward. Monacana into the area. Ah, oh, not quite the end product he was hoping yeah. for, was it? Perhaps just a second or two earlier. But that's halfway. That's half time. Um, what a change around. Well, it was. I mean, I think Palace bossed it to be fair in the, in the first half. They got themselves in front with a penalty, uh, with, a, with a goal. Sorry, then they missed the penalty. They still pressed, you could hear the team pushing, the coaches start pushing them, but fair play to Brighton, they dug in there, and we come out 2-1 in the lead with two terrific goals. Well, Alassani, he had a chance for a second, but Walton saved it, and then Dickinson and Ray, 2-1 at half-time to the Albion.
And the referee said, no, you can't play in that. So Crystal Palace are playing in the Sussex County FA representative team away strip. And I've been asked also, because they've obviously got a sponsor logo on there, Luke and Luke Construction, who apparently helped build this excellent stand we're in. And I've right. been told to give him a plug. I've done that. I'll tell you what, I think the rest passed the buck there, because he's obviously forgot his other shirt. Which yeah, would have been, would have been a lot easier for the referee yep. to change his shirt oh, than the entire Palace team, wouldn't it? But... Never mind. Yeah, for familiar face just walking past there, Martin Hinchwood. Ah, oh, yes. A Crawley now, I believe, yep. isn't he? Yeah. Yep. Plan his trade over there. Yeah. Great man. Great man. And uh, such an interest in the, in the youth development, isn't he? Because he was yes. just being behind some of the, the players that came through, and certainly in the Whitdean years. Well, he's, uh, he's he's brought a few through, and I mean, he'll probably get up to double figures. The uh, the amount of young lads he's brought through, the likes of the lad, Hammond, Harding. It goes Elfix. on and on. Elfix. Yeah. Right, forward we go. From the Albion. 2 1. <laughs> 2 1 the Albion lead then as we go into the second half. Alassani early on for Palace. Just driving the ball underneath Walton as he ran out of his goal. Then Walton saving a penalty from the same player. And we saw Dickinson. Get the Albion back on terms, and then Ray with a terrific header to give them the lead. So it's going to be much the same. I don't think either side have made any change at, at half time. And, and the great thing about this game is that both sides have got pace. They're both pressing, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Well, there's plenty of pace out there, plenty of movement, plenty of enthusiasm. Just what you want to see on a cold night. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And. Uh, there may 100 plus people out there watching at the moment. I hope you stick with us because Manchester City and Chelsea just started. So save on your subscription and stick with us. <laughs> oh, the Albion with a, a free, early free kick in this second half. That's a good ball. There's up. Nice and deep. Touch. Oh, well saved. Oh. Terrific header. And a good fingertip save from David Gregory. That was a terrific opportunity early on uh, for the Albion as that came over. Well, it was all about delivery, Tim, wasn't it? It was a great ball in. And they're the ones that you just need to get your head on and just help along. He did exactly that. Got it down into the right area. Bit of a scramble. Nearly fell to Craig, Craig McHale Smith for a tap in. And Palace cleared it. Great opportunity to start things off. Here's Palace again charging forward they really do get the numbers forward that's Sal Ooh, and then a slip for Boateng ball. it's a great ball forward for Diamond turns it across Ray is there Get it clear, over it comes again. Good take from Walton. Yeah, very composed. The, the, the last few minutes, that punch when he came out of his area at the end of the first half, had to go over a crowd of players. He got the ball clear and then made that catch very safe. So up to the halfway line, nodded into the middle, and then out for an Albion throw. Straight into Starkey. Back to Hunt. Chance for us to see Monacan at close quarters the second half. He's right over this touchline near us, so we to see his movement, his runs, his instruction. Not had a lot of the ball tonight compared with last week, but playing in a different position. He was more central last week, had a lot of the ball, got on things tonight, right side. He's signed on a development contract until July 2015. 
Well, that's an opportunity for Diamond to chase, but Walton's out of his area. Keeps the ball safely in play and bowling it out quickly to Dean. That's the knocking it back to well play, but they've done all right, haven't yeah, they? Done well to play nicely out. worked That's out. nice as and well. Here's Monacana then with a chance to run. Oh, he's chosen to pick out Craig Mikhail Smith. Chambers is over, puts the ball out of play. Albion throw. Nice bit of play from the Albion there. Play nice and composed between the full back and the centre half. Got it into midfield to Monacana. He opened his legs and put a nice ball down the, the right channel. We find ourselves in the final third. Well, he was unselfish, wasn't he? Because Monacana had the space to run himself he if did. he wanted to. This is Dean. Oh, he's almost setting himself up a chance now, Starkey. Oh, and then just perhaps one step too far before the shot was put in, giving Alice the chance to come forward. He's got the book the out, I think. Free kick. Yeah, the referee has got the book out. So where's he harsh. going with that? That's a bit harsh. Oh, it's Dickinson, isn't it? Yeah. Not sure there's a need for that, you know. That's all that is caused is Derek Adam bless him a load of paperwork now. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> Dickinson seems to take me rather well. <laughs> Certainly had an eventful evening, hasn't he? The goal. And uh, saw a lot of the ball in the first sort of quarter of an hour or so of the game, but yes, he did. Not so much since. That should be safe for uh, Albion header. It is. Not quite got it. Claire Asmussen surely pulled down. He was. King, Palace seven or eight forward. Still pressing. Referee wants the free kick taken again. Oh, this is uh, Craig Mikhail Smith going off. And, uh, round of applause and certainly for the first uh, 10 minutes or so well it's yeah, minutes done the last 10 minutes rather of the the first half he looked terrific didn't he yeah dixon has gone down the, down the center now and it's mutty who's come on is it mute james mute tom yeah. he's on so yeah, he, saw a bit of him last week didn't he we? did he played i think he wore the number nine shirt didn't yes, he, he did, did. Yep. he played down the middle uh, with dickinson sticking to the left so Craig Mikhail Smith, well, 50 minutes basically, which is twice as long as he played last week. So that's a nice little landmark for yeah, him. Yeah, it's all about just getting minutes under his belt now, isn't it? You know, and getting the feel of things. And he'll probably be a, a little bit stiff tomorrow as he starts to add more minutes to his rehabilitation. But it's good to see him out there. Yeah, and uh, if you were with us in the first half, just in front of, of us on the, the left hand side as the album were playing in the first half just a terrific run where he won the ball yeah, kept the close well. control and, and really did energize the side I, I think to the point where they got the equalizer to be honest and it's defensive work that needs doing now diamond boating oh, normally plays the pass at that stage but this time running the ball forward boating again And it's, it's building slightly differently. Normally they've gone out to the wings, but this time they're trying to go through the middle. Sal doesn't work though for them this time, but that's uh, a firm shove. Don't think anybody's going to argue with that. The kick's taken. This is Chambers. This looks up, left footed, not able to pick out one of his own players. That's a high, long clearance towards Dickinson. Dickinson and Boateng. Just Challenge together there, and Boateng certainly got plenty of strength, although lost the ball now. They're having a chance to get forward, but Quay Taylor, as the ball was run ahead, Taylor just able to left foot it back to his goalkeeper Gregory. He's got to be a bit careful, Dickinson. Now, when I mean, he's on that card, yeah, you know, it's not the sort of thing you when you're trying to get some some games under about at this level to miss out for three or a couple. So just needs to be well disciplined. Perhaps the bench have just had a word of him. You know, you're, you're going up front now. You might have to play a slightly bit more of a physical game, but pick your moments. Well, he certainly did go over and have a long chat with the bench as uh, Craig McHale Smith ran off. So he's certainly uh, been given his instructions. Uh, it's interesting, isn't it, that in this case it is him that's gone up to that position, not Mewitt, who we yeah. saw the last time we saw this squad. Uh, it was Mewitt who played what I call the number nine role for a moment. Uh, 
And it's charging forward, two players down. Referee's got a decision to make here. And I think he's decided to do nothing, just leave it for the goal kick. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Walton gets it back. Plenty of options over on this left side. And then it's up towards Dickinson for the header. Dickinson and Harris who are going for it together. Ball, ball just rebounding everywhere. Pinball there. Taylor in and Boateng in with the challenge. And Boateng in the end goes in firmly. And Dickinson he does just losing his patience. There, he? Yeah. And exactly as you said a moment ago, walk away. What he's doing now. And Boateng did go in pretty firmly there. Although it's uh, Taylor at the moment that the ref is having a word with. Now Sal. They're lining up. Long oh, chat, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a long chat. I think, well, yeah, I think there is a card. I think, just look at the position of the arms. I think a name might be being written down. It is. Yellow card goes up. Just looking at the production team seven. there. If you can just look at me. I don't know if the, tw the tweeters that are watching, can they keep us in touch with the Man City game? Have a little bit of feedback from the punters tonight? Can we do that? Yes, so interactive. <laughs> That's a long wait for this free kick. It's going to be even longer now. It's Hunt. And then Starkey. I don't think Unlucky. they're going to, be able to keep up with that. Gregory in the Palace goal. Just got Dickinson in front of him. And this time Palace opt to go short rather than long. There's the diagonal ball, but it's cut out. He's done well tonight for me, Dean, the fullback there. Yeah. He's been nicely composed. And he's not, not afraid to go into the middle if he needs to. But uh, loses out there for a moment. That was Harris who lost out there. I oh, know he's an opportunity, although it may have just run a little bit too wide now for Kai Kai. Oh. Oh, referee not giving a penalty this time. Gave one in the first half. Yeah. And Luke Kroll then finally, don't think that was really a shot, just trying to get the ball away from the Albion player who was charging forward onto him. But certainly in the first half, I think the. the, the I don't think anybody's complaining about the penalty in the first half, but uh, it was a bit of a surprise when it was given. A little bit of friction between the teams, teams at the moment, but it is a local derby, as we well know. It's Palace against Brighton. Yeah. What would it be without a little bit of friction? It's Palace against Brighton, and we've seen so often at the first team levels, and uh, good to see these two. Second and third in League Two of the Professional Development League. Now Dickinson jumping up, Kroll with a bit of a push on him. That's nice. Uh, good That's turn. Nice. Good turn now. Has he got the beating of the fullback? And he's got support. That's the most important thing. I'm just looking over to this side. Monacana's free. If the cross can come over. Oh, it's turning, twisting, and finally goes down. with the throw. Harris just moves forward. Boateng was on his own. Plenty of time. Just give him something to think about as that's played forward. Alessani, goal scorer for Palace. So involved in the first half. Yeah, he's been quiet the second half, hasn't he, so far? It's just, that, is the, that is the thing, you know, being a winger. You, you need service. You need the ball, you know. It's hard yeah. enough going to get the thing, but when you get it, you've got to really work hard to do something positive with it. Well, here's an opportunity for the Albion now. He's got to pick out Monacana. It's slightly behind him. Got time to control it, though. There's no one really in the area when the cross was could have been put in earlier on. Starkey just had to wait. And he tried to pick out Monacana. 
Asmundsen. And Gray now for Palace. Got one over. That was a good, good call. You were talking earlier about that. That was a yeah, terrific we could hear call. Yeah, from here, couldn't we? Yeah, Alistair Gordon. Now, Sal slips again as he tries to put that ball into the area. And, well, Brighton did quite well to keep possession there because they're running into each other. And that's on a karma. Oh, I'm trying to. Starkey again, but just for that ball there, Monica. And I think he can really afford, afford to go really big and strong because it's against the wind. Really get into it and get it over the full back or centre half in that at that time. Okay, it certainly had faded by the yeah, time it just got held there. up. Yeah, you know, just overhead it there, go long right into the corner, make it a fight ball, make it a, a 50 50 ball rather than uh, 70 30 to the Palace player. Connor Diamond. That's going to be cut out, I think. Yeah, the two centre backs combined well there. Yep. Between the two of them, they got it clear. Linesman's flag is up. Free kick to Brighton. So just looking at the way this is lined up, I think Mewitt effectively has moved out to the left hand side at the moment. He's just coming to the middle there a little bit. Dickinson chasing after this. Just needs to try and tee up across. Uh, he's got Come the corner. Up. Well, this is the one where you could put it right underneath the crossbar. Then you've got a bit of a breeze coming down the hill, a bit of a slope. Get it right in there. Make it difficult for the goalkeeper to deal with. Let's see who's going forward to, to get on the end of this. The left foot, so it's more going to be an outswing here. But well, I suppose the way the the way the wind's going, I yeah. think it is more likely to be that. Oh, it's swung out a long, long way, That's almost I mean. to the eighteen-yard line. Monacana's in there. Asmussen. Well, that's really why the Albion only put one player in the six-yard box. They knew that it was going to end up on the edge of the area. Robin Dean. Monacana. And Harris. Oh, that's oh, a nice. lovely little flick. Well played. Corner. Well played. Nice bit of phase of play there from the Albion. Getting the ripple it deserves. Uh, just at the terrible excuse, but the Albion number's not all that clear, and I'm not sure, in fact, that that... I'm going to have to check this in a moment. That's not actually number 16. Who's uh, Conan is the, the substitute. So we'll get the opportunity to see that in a moment. Ooh, that was dangerous and nobody's got it clear yet still bouncing about all oh, the shot from distance oh. and again well, I think everywhere. the goalkeeper went down but it was a defender who got it clear and now the shot from distance and again a foot underneath it Alistair Gordon getting that clear boating oh, for Kai Kai to run on to Asmussen chasing back it's a good run and shot oh, well oh, taken well Terrific save. Wharton just to his left. And I think that probably was going to creep in, you know. Yep, no, he took that, that well, Wharton. Managed to hold on to it as well because it was nicely tucking itself into the corner. Dickinson just jogging his way into the area now. Oh, that's a good run. Oh, for the defence. Oh, they haven't sorted it out. They haven't had a terrific opportunity. Oh, it wasn't quite teed up right. That had been just a better pass back to Harris, and he could yeah. have hit that first time. Too flat. Then I think the danger Oof. is clear. Oh, head goes in there. Brave, brave. Nice flick back. Hunt losing out to Gray. And there's just no quarter given at the moment, even from along the ground. I think you're right. I mean, he's they're right over the other side there, and I think that is. I and think it McGuire is Drew, Maguire it? Drew. Like yeah. say, the numbers are difficult to see from this distance, especially over that far side mm. with but the lights. It, I think it is number 16 rather than 15. He's tugging that hutch, that hugging that touchline. So Maguire Drew. Of course, at the Amex we have the privilege of having that screen in front of us, so we can pick things out a lot easier. Uh, I tell you, most members of the press appreciate, it, obviously. with a clear number on 
for us commentators. Well, in my days when I was uh, doing scouting for different teams as well, it's so difficult for the scouts as well. There's all these to moan about. Oh, they've got them shirts or other teams have got shirts and they can't fit the numbers out to get the formation right. This is Sal for Palace. And then Gordon. They combine well. Alessani getting involved now. Boateng. Controlled so much of the first half, and in fact hasn't seen so much of the ball in this second half. That's Quaid at defence. Chambers is just saying, just lay in front of me. To be fair to Brighton, they've come out yeah, they've on the, front, well, on the front foot a little bit more than they did in the first half, so that has caused Palace to take a backward step. So, uh, and as you say, the time of them goals really did just lift them going into the second half, didn't it? Yeah. I know it's a thing, and it's a you know media thing. Oh, good time to score just before half time, but yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That must have so deflated Palace because they must have thought they were going in one nil up That's at it. half time, and then and also it, it wasn't even level. It, it, was, ch it changes the whole outlook of the team talk from the coach, you know. So uh, Gary Issett is the um, Palace academy uh, director and coach of this side, and he fully admits in a interview I read with him that. He wasn't able to make it as a player himself, but he's really enjoying the coaching. Nice to see. And, uh, of course, he can stick Wilfred Zahar's name on the list of players he's brought through. Well, not bad CV, that. And uh, Nathaniel Klein as well. He's, uh, I think, at Southampton now, isn't he? But, um, oh well. I bet he wishes he was on the percentage of the transfer fee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zaha now at, at Cardiff. Just hasn't worked out for him at Manchester United mm. so far. It's not working out for Manchester United full stop at the moment, is it? Mm. Right, so it's um, Zahar and Craig Noon always fighting for a place now. Oh, there's a ball across there. This has got to be an opportunity for Alassani now. Great, great uh, block. Terrific defending. That was Robin Dean, Dean yeah. the fullback, who got in there because Alassani was absolutely teeing that up, wasn't he? And I've been impressed with him tonight, Dean. I think he's just really gone about his job in the right manner. And gets say, forward well. Yeah, Alessani, like you say, he is a box of tricks, but he's coped with him well. Mm. Deep corner again. Well, the players look to be doing the right thing. They're all running towards the ball, but nobody was able to make a contact. I think, again, that may just have been the wind that sucked it in a bit towards well, the goal. Well, all all set pieces, yeah, all back. set pieces that have gone into that end, especially the first half as well. They've absolutely flown in, haven't they? I mean, it's really picked up pace, a lot of them. So the wind is quite strong. We're nicely tucked away here in the stand, but uh, you can see the linesman's flags there. It's quite a strong breeze out there. It's, it's blowing behind Palace at the moment in this half. Boateng. Well, that's a good run. That's a good run. Cool. He's still, still got, got it, it as well. He's got possession back. Can he tee anyone up? Oh, oh can. what a save. What a save. That was Diamond with the shot. And a superb save from Walton. Well, as quick as Dickinson took his half volley and put it in the back of the net, Walton was just equally, his reactions there were unbelievable. I know it was straight at him, but it was really flying, wasn't it? And he just, and he even managed to punch it completely clear. He got a good, good double arm on it. Terrific save from the big man. List both sides, the shot and the save. Here's Here he comes corner. again. Oh, he's made the catch too. He's on fire. What a terrific few moments for Christian Walton. Oh. Oh, great. What was the better of that, but... I think both Gray and Dickinson felt that challenge, you know. Well, here comes Monacana, switch sides for a moment. I'll tell you what, we haven't seen the Albion in the Palace half for a while, have we? No. Nope. They've had all the possession, Starkey. It's a good run. Where's the product, though? Well, lucky. Very close to just picking out. Then all the hard work, just needed yeah. to stand it up, didn't he, really? Got himself in a good position, Starkey. And here's Dean, then. And Dickinson, who's moved back out wide now. So at the moment, I don't know if this is a, a permanent change, but we've got Monacana in the centre. I think we've got a Palace substitution to come. A Brighton one as well, I think. Oh, yeah. Looks of it. No PA here, so we'll have to work it out for ourselves. Well, that looks to me like Monacana going yep, off. Definitely.
And we've got Gray going off for Palace. That definitely looks like Mewitt coming on now, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we saw him last week. He played wide right. Yep, taking up that position again. Done well when he came on last week. Do you remember? Got the ball, had a couple of good runs. What? Him? Jason Davis? Davis, that's the one. <laughs> he was good as well. Yeah. <laughs> he did play well when he came on, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Jason Davis who's uh, come on for the, the album. That's a better throw. Good, nice play. Good. Okay, here away. is Davis. First opportunity. Has he won the corner? He has. Yep. But when and the ball so was, we got, when we the got, ball's moved quick there, it was really nice, wasn't it? Quick one, two, little triangle. It's uh, Derek Tiecu, the number 14, who's come on for Palace. Gray, the number nine, who's gone off. Starkey then with the corner. Ooh. Oh, Asmussen getting in on the edge of the area. Couldn't get a shot there, but was able to knock it back into the danger area. And that round of applause you can hear. I don't know if you can see down there Craig McHale Smith. Oh, as the ball play continues, and the Albion now have a real opportunity to make it three. Oh, he's cleared off the line. Terrific opportunity. Starkey had again the shot. Well done, Gregory. That's it. That's in. 3 1. Well, one person who didn't see that goal is Craig McHale Smith because he's having his photos taken with uh, some fans down there. That's the goal. Just have a look and see. Again, Lots of pinball further there, there, over. Just see who was, was finally on the end of that. Look at that, cleared off the line. We're just able to see uh, a delayed stream of this. Three one then. At the moment, because it came through a crowd of players, no one absolutely sure who did get the final touch, but plenty of opportunities. I think, I think it was Davis. I'm going to put my name on Davis for that one. Well, Palace then now probably going to feel a little bit um, aggrieved. I mean, three one down. Yep. To be honest, the way they played, they don't really deserve that, did they? Because they pressed all the time, but yeah. they have been, have been quite clinical when needed. And and Palace had had so much of the play in this second half up to that point. They had, yeah. Uh, and then when Brighton had the opportunity, forward they came, and just two or three people getting shots in. Just playing that back in my mind, I think it was Davis had the one cleared off the line, wasn't it? Then it rattled around. Dickinson had the shot, and I think it came back to Harris, and I think he was the one that buried it. Just getting my bearings there. It happened all so quick, like you say, it was like a pinball. Well, now we can go again. Taylor, though. Chambers, resolute at the back. Davis. Oh, that was challenge, firm challenge by Chambers. Right in front of the Albion fans. Well, let's see what our referee is going to do here. It's Dickinson who's down. Just clutching the, what's that? It's the back of his right knee, I think. Is, yep. Just on the calf, isn't it? Or this is on the knee. Take right. it down. Yeah. Well, on comes the physio. Anyway. Meanwhile, the referee has got. Chambers. And he's going to add the name of Chambers to it. Right, back to his feet. Helped up. Chambers jogs back onto the 18-yard line because, of course, he's got to go off and wait to be brought back on. Starkey with the set piece. Curls in nicely. Um, headed by Taylor, though. Oh, Alisani for once loses out. Harris charging forward. Ref still not recognise that Dickinson's off the pitch. Oh, no, Dickinson's not on yet. He's letting him on now. The 
So Palace now, a lot of work to do. Got about 17 or 18 minutes left, but they're 3-1 down now. Brighton definitely shifting the ball better now and working hard in the second oh, half. The confidence has absolutely yep. grown, hasn't it? It's Davis. I like the look of this lad. He's very positive. I spoke. Yeah, put the curse on him. No, he's won it back. He's won it back. Yeah, he is. Look at that. Is what a fighter. Oh, is That's he going to go for the shot? He is, you know. Oh. Handball, everybody cries. Don't think it was. I think it was too low to be handball. And even so, I don't think anybody could have reasonably expected to get out of the way of that. Diamond for Palace. Boateng. Sal. Boateng back. It's a nice turn and shot. Oof. Walton, though, able to watch that go past. Yeah, it covered. I thought it had taken the deflection, but it hasn't. Or if it did, it was off a Palace player because it's the goal kick that's given. Now, Boateng has noticeably moved further forward. Yes, he has, yeah. Uh, as Palace do what they can to try and get back into this game. That's, I think, is it? No, I thought it was going to go straight out of play, but in the end, the two heads went together. And it is a Brighton throw. Dean. Davis. Oh, that was high from Boateng, wasn't it? Jeffrey was happy to let that go. And then the ball out of play for a Palace throw from Harris. Asmussen in, gives away the free kick though. Good decision there. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, Jerome Binham Williams, by the way, wearing number 15 for Palace. Substitution. Yep. Linesman has got his flag up, the way he holds it above his head. And he's got to chase all the way out there because they always check the studs, don't they? <laughs> it's Sal who's going off. Taking the name. Walton could be pleased with his work tonight, I think, oh, don't you? He makes a terrific save. Yeah, he's he's done done I mean, for a goalkeeper saving a penalty, it's got to be the equivalent of scoring a goal, hasn't yeah. it? For, yeah, you feel great, don't you? Yeah. Um, and he's done that well, but that save he made um, down to his left, you know, clutching it. Yeah, he's done really well. Well, Palace obviously want to try and get themselves back in this game 3 1. Dickinson chasing and chasing, he's done a lot of that. Ball goes out of play. Chambers leaving the throw to Pinham Williams. Good skill. He's had to do nicely there, turn that around. Davis didn't know where he'd gone, then gets it back. And on the run, here come the Albion. Oh, that's a lovely turn. Dickinson just got trapped. He studs trapped a little bit, I think, in the turf. But in the end, kept possession, got the ball out wide. Starkey twisting and turning. There's Starkey on the ball again. Crowd want the ball put in quicker than that. Someone made his feelings known in the crowd to cross it, but he didn't. <laughs> Albion have kept possession, though. memorable victory wouldn't it just uh, keep that gap between the two yep. in the league table Cardiff the leaders of uh, this league two the professional development league Palace in third place they're three points behind Brighton but they have played a game more so it will be a decent gap down to third place after this
Oof. Tough challenges going in. That's Gabsy, number 16, who came on as a, a substitute for Palace now. I think have used up all their three. Alisani, star of the first half. Might still have something to say in the second half, too. Oh, he's teed up Boateng. Oh, he can't get the shot away, though, can he? Alisani gets it back. He's not frightened to have a shot, is he? But I have a thought. Well, it's comfortably over the top of Wharton's goal. And into the netting that's uh, put up there, that end of the ground. Pace of the game just slowed down a little bit now, isn't it? Well, you know, you can, I suppose you're going to keep that tempo up for yeah, so long, absolutely. can't you? No, they've all worked, both teams have worked hard. They've, they've moved the ball, they've worked hard, they've shut down, so there's been a good attitude from both teams tonight. Six or seven minutes to go. Asmussen has, uh, yeah, he's been involved all the way through the game, hasn't he? Playing that role just in front of the uh, back four. Always in. It's felt that tackle from here. Oh, now a good opportunity for Brighton. Maguire drew on the left, twisting, turning. Oh, he's got some pace. Gordon goes with him. That's a beautiful back flick. Now, can get the crossover? Oh, it comes. No one on the six yard box. Dickinson will be able to keep way, well, he won't get possession in fact. Palace trying to come forward, that's out of play though. Tieku could only run it out of play. Ray. Is it for Dean? Valenson. And hunt the other fullback. Oh, oh so lucky. Really trying some tricks now. When you three one up, you can afford to have a bit of confidence. Yep, can't just you, about to do that. Yep, as long as it's in the opposition's half and as far away from your own goal as possible. Yeah, Ben and Williams then. Oh, well, Dean gets in there. We haven't got a, a match sponsor's man of the match, but in five minutes, we're 35 minutes in this half, we'll have the Bob Booker man of the match. Yep. Wait for this Palace corner. Oh, it's deep again. It's the defensive head that gets there. Out of play. It's going to be a Palace throw. But uh, as you were saying earlier, the wind really is playing havoc with any set pieces at this end. Gordon to take the throw. And then Tieku. This is Tieku again. Going to be another corner. Palace are putting the pressure on. <laughs> That's nicely positioned. Oh, it's bouncing around. Wharton firm again. Bid and Williams involved in that. But Wharton, is, as you mentioned a few moments ago, has been absolutely commanding, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been, he's been a good presence tonight uh, behind his back four. We've seen him charge out of goal a couple of times and make the clearance. We've seen the punch and we've seen a couple of superb saves. Well, he's certainly a goalkeeper who's been noticed. Uh, you know, he has, has been called up to England under 21 training camps. Yep. Of course, he's figured on the first team bench a couple of times as well when Cusack and Anka Gren were both injured. Asmussen gets a foot in there. Dickinson, Davis, oh, perhaps the wrong side of him. Yeah, just lost a bit of eye contact that, there. Yeah. Didn't he? To his right hand side. Yeah, just lost, lost a bit of eye contact. Just, uh, yeah, just thanked each other there. Just realising. Just as Dickinson went to pass it, put, put uh, Davis in, they just turned away from each other, didn't they? Ten. Oh, Taylor. Ooh. Running forward, he's evaded two challenges there. Asmussen gets in, though. Challenge. Is that? Put it back the ref. Yeah, he has, hasn't he?
So the second challenge, clearly he didn't evade. Boateng takes it. Oh, trying to nod it into the danger area. Walton's running out of his goal, but just lets it bounce in front of him and it's out of play for a goal kick. Someone's got cramp, as Munson has got cramp there. Well, he, he has been non stop. Well, he's been running around in the centre of that pitch for, yeah, well, what is it, best part of 85 minutes now. Well, referee's not letting any physio on. A bit of homemade physiotherapy <laughs> from his teammate. Yeah. Okay, and up again. Well, that really, really got caught in the wind, didn't it? That, it was, didn't. that was heading straight down the middle when it left his foot, but just swirling right out of play. I think the, the Palace team will be fairly frustrated at this because they've been hard, they've pressed all the time, they took the lead. But uh, Brighton's finishing, I have to say, has been pretty clinical. Well. Sometimes that, that's the difference at any level, isn't it? You know, can you finish when you get the opportunity? And, you know, and in the end, I suppose, when you're given a penalty, you'd expect it, that would have completely changed the complexion of the game, wouldn't it? If well, it would have been a 2-0 up two at nil that up stage. And, yeah, you're chasing a little bit, you know, but... Uh, but for Walton, as I say, I think for a goalkeeper, that's as good as a, a goal. You know, when you save a penalty, because you, you're not really expected to, are you? Not really, not this present day, you know. Diamond in. Yeah, and Boateng again. Oh, and again, the Albion defence. Always only got their foot in, I thought, at the right time, but referee yeah. has decided that was a free kick. Done well getting there, Dean, didn't he? And he just like went a little bit too, a little bit too aggressive for the referee's liking. It's a good chance for Palace now. It nice is. area. It's going to curl right in towards Walton because it almost that's the way probably, the wind's yeah, going. He'll probably almost have a shot. Oh, he's, oh, oh, he's done something he's different. on the edge of the area and trying to get the shot from distance. There were heads that went in there. Oh, that's going to go over Walton. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Crystal Palace back to 3-2. And I think that was Quade Taylor, the number yeah. five. Bit of a deflection. Put that in. The, the weather plan is part there, wasn't it? The wind, the breeze, but, a bit but of swirl. But this time, Walton had run a long way out of his goal, and there was just no way back. So that puts an interesting deflection on it. Four minutes to go, and it's 3 2. We're just able to watch it again now. Well, he took it over his head. He was yeah. terrific because he was facing it completely the wrong direction. Hooked it over his head. Well, that quick Number replay five. we saw there, almost like he meant it, wasn't it? I think he'll tell you he meant it, don't you? <laughs> I'm not sure if he did, but... Well, 3-2. It's going to be a good last three or four minutes now because it could go either way because I have to say, in all honesty, I think Palace deserve that, the way yeah. they played. <laughs> Binham Williams to the byline. Oh, is he taking it too far? He's got a corner. Another chance now. Well, the momentum is with Palace. It was at this stage in the first half where Brighton took control, wasn't it? With just a few minutes left. Yeah. It's all a bit tense now down in front of us. And it's Kaikai who's going to take this. Alassani's made himself available if he wants to take it short. He doesn't. In it goes. The heads. Oh. And a shot. Oh, they've just again, I think the wind took it away as people get that, Davis, lining yeah, get up that. that. Davis Race. has got to run on. now. He's got a real chase on over the it. defender. And he's still got it. Oh, and he's got Outside. a fire forward as well, but the flag's up. Yeah. Well, that was a terrific counter-attack. I was going to say by the Albion, but to be honest, it was a counter-attack by Davis virtually on his own. Yeah. I think it's a good idea by Davis to try and play it in and... Uh... Well... Cameron Wiltshire just sort of hold, hold his run a little bit, held his run a little bit, but uh, Linesman spotted it. Offside. Good break, though. Great pace from Davis. And, and what's so important is just taking the pressure off, hasn't it? Because yeah. the, all the momentum was in Palace. And now for a moment, they've got to defend, they've got to think again. Yeah, game's just got a bit stretched now. Players just losing their discipline a little bit. They just need to tighten up, get their shape. 
see this game out. Boateng. They fancy it now, Tim. They certainly do. They say the momentum is with them. Kai Kai. Ben and Williams. Looking to turn. Set up the shot. Side. Up. Flags up. Done us a favour there. Just took the pressure off. Couple of minutes to go. Let's have the uh, Bob Booker sponsored man of the match then. Well, I mean, I was, it was torn between two, really. I, I spoke about Dean having a particularly good game early on. I think he's carried on for the second half. But although that one floated over the top of Orton's head, I'm still going to go for the goalkeeper. I think uh, I think he's walked the game tonight. He's talked well. His kicking's been decent. Made some terrific saves. Penalty save as well. So I'm going for the big man. You can collect the champagne later. Come <laughs> to my office. <laughs> now he's on the ball now. Is he old enough to drink? Is that why they kick off, by the way, 7 o'clock with these uh, youth team games? He's going to go home for bed in time. <laughs> no, he's done well, the, the goalkeeper. He has. Been... But, but you you know, you're absolutely right. And the outfield players, Dean, has, has been so composed tonight, hasn't he? Yes, he, he has, yeah. He gets forward well, and he's made a couple of really important tackles. In fact, to be fair, you know, the entire back four looks pretty solid in this squad and it's the same back four we saw at these ones they're playing developing together yep as a unit well that's good as well that you know you get used to each other's ways who's dropping off who's going for the ball all that sort of stuff and it just becomes second nature to you well we're just about heading up to the end of normal time three two then to the brighton squad Alisani with the first goal. All you streamers out there have enjoyed the commentary tonight. We've certainly enjoyed it. Been, uh, Taylor I don't think there's been any goal. tweets back letting us know the Man City score because I have had a little flat on Chelsea tonight. So if anyone's out there can well, help it's me. 1 0 to Chelsea at the moment. Get in. 1 0 to Chelsea. I'm not telling you how much I've had on them. That's half time score. Davis now. Uh, there's Davis, yeah. And the best thing he could do for his side is keep possession and just keep it out of his own penalty area. Dickinson, Ray, and I'm afraid I have to say A N other at the moment for Brighton. Well, okay, ball up. That's out of play, and it's a corner. And that really, looking at the time there, I think that could be the end of uh, any Palace ambitions of getting a point out of this. To be honest. funny isn't it when you get to the last minute how long the discussion has to be about exactly where we're going to put this corner <laughs> exactly what the lineup's going to be you can't blame them. everybody does it you moan when the opposition do it but Pushing the ball back. It's out again for another Palace throw. The seconds, though, are ticking down. And this is going to be a win that means a six point gap between these two sides in second and third place in the Development League. Keep hold of it now, and I'm not going to really press and, now. Uh, the Albion's one more game to play than Palace, so cementing that second spot and uh, I think compared to the, the old days of reserves, I know we've had Craig Mikhail Smith appear in this, it's been great to see him but the whole point of the development thing we, we are watching pretty much the same side we saw a couple yeah. of weeks ago and watching them build together well that was a good brave header and that just that last minute, keep that concentration going from Dallison Oh, Alassani charging on again, but it's cleared anywhere will do at this stage. Oh, free kick given. Not finished yet. Oh, it's throw given. Not finished yet. Boateng on the ball. Ben and Williams pointing out how clear he is on the left, but they're not going to reach him. Gabsy. Boateng again from distance. Oof. Oh. Tell you what, Walton could have made that look a lot tougher. You talk about one for the cameras sometimes, but yeah. Walton, he's just, he never does that, does he? What it seems just to look, absolutely yeah. takes the catch, makes it look simple. Because that was travelling. It was travelling, it was a it was a 
not a particularly good height, but he stood firm, didn't he? he? Took it. Them ones can easily flip out to the striker and he taps them in. But he stood firm and his his handling's been absolutely excellent tonight. Yeah, and uh, just emphasising the point that he was Bob's man of the match tonight, and he has played a huge part. And as you've often told me, just knowing that you've got a player like that behind you just yeah. makes you know the whole back back four life easier for them. Must be enjoying himself, the referee, because he's dragging out. Yeah, I just uh, remind people that first team fixtures. We got Doncaster at the Amex on Saturday, Leeds next Tuesday night. Yeah, nice but that finishes in a good 3 2 win for the Albion development yep. squad against uh, Crystal Palace. Palace were a decent side, good work by the Albion. Good work from both teams, to be fair. It was an enjoyable game. Uh, as I say, Palace really dominated the first half, and we found ourselves in front taking the lead in the first half which was great and then Palace come out the second half again forced it a little bit then we got back into the game got ourselves nicely 3-1 in front Palace had a last little re re surge got themselves back in the game 3-2 to take it to a nice tight ending at the end but we've come out winners 3-2 good night's work yep so, so second place consolidated in that development league six point gap now between Brighton and Palace it finishes here at Culver Road 3-2 to the Albion and uh, thank you for joining us this evening